Greetings everyone and welcome to part 3 of Mega Man X and we are continuing our journey to make X stronger. And our next stop is this Maverick right here at the power plant. And we get introduced to... Spark Mandrill. Makes sense. Sparks, electricity, power plant. Uh, <laughs> I see what you did there, game. And what's this? Pieces of the airship? Here? That's right, folks. If you went ahead and defeated Storm Eagle before arriving at Spark Mandrill stage, the airship will crash into the power plant, causing power plant malfunction. And yeah. It's another one of those uh, gimmicks where if you defeat a boss, the stage changes, a certain stage changes depending on, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And again, that's one of the things I like about this game, how your choices affect certain stages and stuff, and yeah. Now, if uh, I were to come here before I defeated Storm Eagle, well, the power plant would be fully operational, and a mini-boss that will be coming up would be uh, much harder. So, uh, we'll get to him when we get to him. Anyway, I went uh, the bomb pathway first to show you the location of the sub-tank, and obviously I cannot get it yet. I'll come back for it, folks, I promise. So yeah, because of the damage to the power plant, the lights will be flickering off and on, and the lights will be dim in certain sections. Oh, and I hate these things right here. These firefly enemies, I'm guessing that's what they're called. I mean, they appear out very quickly, and they can blindside you. I mean, yeah. See, I got that one. Like, yeah. Ooh. Thank goodness for wall jumping. Thank you. Oh, I love you, wall jumping. I love you so much. Yeah, again, these Firefly enemies can knock you down a bombless pit, and... Ugh. However, a well-aimed charge shot can get rid of these guys quickly, and you don't have to worry about them as much anymore. It's like, oh, jeez, Louise. Of course, this section's well lit. Huh. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Alrighty, then. Ugh. Again, I do like this musical track as well. I mean... I can't stress enough how much I love this musical track. Oh, and here's the mini-boss in question. Yeah. Now, if you were to come here before facing off against Storm Eagle, well, he would be much more of a threat. He would actually shoot electricity on the floor, and, well, it could give X a world of hurt. However, because I defeated Storm Eagle, and then, uh, and then I came here, well, this boss is a complete and utter joke. I mean, he would just, uh, uh, see all those sputters? That should have been electricity, but, eh, damaged power plants and all, and yeah. So you storm tornado on him, it, he goes down much easier that way. Come on, pick up, there we go, pick up that weapon energy. Good boy, X, good boy. Alright, let's see, let's talk a little bit about, uh, good old Spark Mandrill, shall we? Let's see here. Okay, Spark Mandrill, known in Japan as Spark Mandriller, okay, and is a Mandrill type Maverick Hunter from Mega Man X, okay. He was a Maverick Hunter that served in the 17th Elite, which was under Sigma's command. When Sigma started his rebellion, he quote unquote logically decided to follow along. Okay. And I would like to point out that Spark Mandrill appeared in the Mega Man cartoon series. That's right, folks. Uh, for those of you who do not know, which is probably the one or two of you, there was a Mega Man cartoon series, and it starred Mega Man as this big, beefy, 20-year-old Mega Man. Yeah, he's not that little boy that we com commonly see in the media. Yeah, basically there was a crossover between him and Mega Man X, and the story of that episode, if I recall correctly, is uh, Sigma sends Vile and Spark Mandrill back in time to uh, the Mega Man times, and he... Oh, first of all, before I continue, um, you can dash jump up here to get this heart right here to increase, his, to increase X's health. Okay, see? Just like that. Alright, as I was saying, uh, Sigma sent uh, Vile and uh, Spark Mandrill back in time to get some metal that's very valuable in the future. 
and Vile and Spark Mandrill teams up with uh, Dr. Wily and his forces to get that medal, which was invented by Dr. Light, by the way. Of course, um, Mega Man and Roll were no match for, well, Vile and Spark Mandrill because they're robots from the future. I mean, makes sense. Fortunately for Mega Man, X uh, went back in time and, well, pretty much owned Vile and Spark Mandrill, so, yeah. It's pretty much a nice little team-up episode. Um, X gets to meet his creator, and uh, it's one of the one of the one of the good points about the Mega Man series. So um, yeah, if you get a chance, I think it's online somewhere. I don't know. Look it up. Oh, I hate these firefly things. I hate these things. See, I'm a little. Ugh. Oh, good. It's over. No more of these annoying things. So I just need to get rid of this. Um, I'm guessing Chicken Walker enemy? I'm guessing that's what it's called, so yeah. Anyway, here we are, Spark Mandrel's uh, lair. Of course, he is weak to the shotgun ice. So yeah, folks, we're now going in proper weakness order, because... Uh, because. I mean, there's no other way to go about at this point. I mean... Sure, you can go out of order, but at the same time, you kind of want to go this way so that, um, well, get to get to get things going, to make things a little easier for yourself. As you can see, when I shoot shotgun ice and it bounces off, even the smaller pieces can freeze spark mandrels. So, uh, yeah, definitely his weakness because um, cold affects electricity. Mm, it makes sense, I guess. All right, he'll swing around if you don't freeze him. Um, he'll shoot electric sparks all along the ground. He'll try to punch you in the face. However, if you keep shooting ice at him, he'll he'll just uh, freeze in place, giving you time to get out of the way. And just like that, Spark Mandrill is uh, no more. All right. Uh, nice looking. Uh, I'm guessing generator in the background or something. Again, Super Nintendo graphics. Alright, our weapon of the day is Electric Spark. Uh, how original. Uh, but sometimes originality is... It, bleh, what do I mean, originality? Sometimes the simple things are good enough. I mean, simplicity is effective sometimes. I don't know what I'm saying right now, so... <laughs> Anyway, let's go on to our next Maverick. Alright. And the Maverick of this day is... Armored Armadillo. <laughs> Makes sense, because he is armored and he is based off an armadillo. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we got this stage right here. Now, folks, if you want to uh, harvest uh, wep uh, subtake energy, this is the place to go at it. Because... All these bats right here, they drop a lot of health most of the time. I'm not kidding. They will drop health capsules, and if you're a, if you're fully, if make, if you get X to uh, full health, I mean this is the perfect place to farm for sub tank energy right here because you can get these guys to respawn and fill up your sub tanks and yeah. Now there's a blink and you miss it, and there's a blink and you miss it moment near the beginning. There's actually a bat that's uh, reminiscent of the Batons in of the classic series. And a lot of the times, when you kill those, well, uh, they drop free lives. So, um, if you want a line farm, again, this is a good place to do so. Because, um, yeah. Oh, uh, there are sub-tanks, which means X has three sub-tanks. And we know the location of sub-tank number four, I just need to get the right weapon to get it. So, uh... Oh, I'll get back to it in a couple of videos. Anyway, that thing I just destroyed with the uh, fire weapon is... It's this drill thing that will actually affect the level. You see, um, it'll drill, it'll destroy um, rocks, and leaving certain areas inaccessible. And you can destroy it quickly with the fire or storm tornado or something like that. And um, if you do so, the level will be, for the most part, unaffected. And that will come into play a little bit later as I journey my way through Armored Armadillo stage. Alright. Ow! I hate these Mets. No matter what time period, the Mets are annoying. 
And it kind of makes sense for Mets to be here because this is technically the same universe. The Mets are multitask module thingies. And, I mean, it's a case of it, if it's not broken, uh, don't fix it or something. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Alright, let's go ahead and talk about Armored Armadillo right quick. Let's see here. <sighs> okay, Armored Armadillo, known in Japan as Armor Armarje or Armage, whatever, is an armadillo type maverick in Mega Man X. He was a maverick hunter from the 8th Armored Division under Sigma and was a very loyal soldier. When his master rebelled against humankind, he followed, he followed suit only to be loyal. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah. Oh god, I hate these pickaxe bosses. I hate these things. But with them laughing at me getting hurt. <laughs> uh. Okay, folks. What you want to do now is switch to uh, your fire weapon and destroy this drill digging enemy right quick because. If you fail to do so, you miss out on the heart of this stage. Although you could technically kill yourself and for another chance at the heart. Um, I'm guessing that was near a checkpoint if I recall correctly. So yeah, if this thing were to dig like past here, you would not be able to reach this heart. I'm just saying. Alright. Now, there is also one other thing you can get in this stage, but at this time I cannot get it yet because I'm not fully maxed out on weapons or energy or anything. But when the time comes, I will show it off. And for those who are familiar with this game, I bet you know what I'm a, what, what I am going to show off later on. <laughs> but in the meantime, don't say anything because um, I'm going... I'm saving it for those uh, one or two who have never seen this game before, so, yeah. Anyway, here we are, Armored Armadillo stage. Of course, Electric Shock is its weakness. And uh, one of the things about this game I do like is that when you use a certain weakness against a Maverick, well, it affects them a certain way. And I will demonstrate with Armored Armadillo here. See how he's fully armored, he's ready for battle. Well, if I shoot electric shock or spark at him, bam! There goes his armor. He is vulnerable. So if I were to shoot armored armadillo with some other weapon, uh, there are times he would block the shot and he would absorb the armor and there, he would release this little shock wave right here. However, by using electric spark, um, well, the armor's gone. He uh, he's vulnerable. So you can shoot him with about any other weapon you want, but I would stick to his weakness because, um, yeah. Otherwise, without his armor, he has to resort to just shooting, um, well, shots from his head and the occasional roll around the stage. So, yeah. <sighs> just uh, keep wall climbing to the side to avoid the shots, and when he does this little trick, you can just move all around the stage so that you don't get hurt. Of course, me being a little arrogant at this point, I would take a few hits from that headshot. See? But I'm not that worried. I have uh, some sub-tank energy. I have uh, his weakness, and he's about to go down. And I believe you can also shoot him while he's rolling. Like so. Alright. So, yep, another Maverick bites the dust. Ah. <sighs> Um yeah, again, I'm admiring the background here, and I do like the waterfall background be in the area before you enter the boss door. It's, again, Super Nintendo graphics. I mean, there's something you got to admire about something from the past. I mean, sure, games this day and age have this nice HD quality, but for me, growing up playing these games, looking back at it now, it's still amazing what they accomplished back then, you know? Anyway, folks, see you in part four.